In just 10 minutes, you can turn any flat logo to a cool 3D studio quality logo in Blender. If you're wondering how to get this high quality look as a Blender beginner, I'm gonna go through one of my favorite tricks using this free plugin. So in this quick tutorial, we're gonna go through step by step creating a cool logo and stick till the end to find out what this single flower is doing here. So let's go. Starting with the first step, we're gonna quickly go through a logo setup on how to turn any flat logo into 3D in Blender. So for this, we need a .svg file of any logo that you want. You can get it from Google or search for any logo .svg file. And once you've downloaded it, just go to File, Import, and import it as .svg file. The logo will be present in Blender. And now we can go to the data setting, adding some thickness to it in the extrude setting, and increase the bevel depth as well, so the edges are rounded. Now I'm gonna scale it by pressing S, and use another shortcut here, Control alt shift c to bring the origin to the center. And next, another shortcut here, Rx90 to rotate it by 90 degrees. And now after putting it in the middle here by pressing the G key, we can add a camera here as well. So press shift a and add a camera. I'm gonna bring it back here using the G key. We can use the tilde key to go to the view camera and another cool shortcut pressing shift F and WASD keys to adjust the camera around our logo. Once you're happy with the logo setup, we're gonna go to the step two of adding environment around our logo. I'm gonna use the sky image from Unsplash, but you can use any high quality sky image that you find and use it as our background. So after downloading it, press shift A image and add it as a mesh plane here we're gonna scale it up a little bit and make sure it's behind our logo we can go to the render view by pressing shift z and see how it looks around our logo as you can see i have some extra sections made here already but you can easily just go to the corner of your view and drag it left or down to add some extra sections in your blender viewport so here i've already changed this section to shader editor and the option is set to the world view here I'm gonna press Ctrl T so we can add our environment around our logo. To use this shortcut, just make sure in the preferences you have the Node Wrangler add-on turned on. So once you have it turned on, you can press Ctrl T on your background and it will add all these nodes. I'm gonna use an SDRI image for our lighting and environment from Polyhaven and I'll link it in the description of this video. So after you downloaded it, just press open and add that SDRI and it'll be added as our environment in the viewport. You can press shift A and search for an RGB curves node as well to control the darkness and brightness of the SDRI. Now I'm gonna go to this rotation option and change it a little bit so the sun is coming from left of the logo. Now let's adjust the background image here. In the upper window here as well, I set it to the shader editor, but the setting is in object now. I'm gonna take the same color node here and plug it into the emission which will add a bit of glow and brightness to our background image and you can increase or decrease the strength a bit to adjust the brightness. As you've noticed, there's a lot of glow here in my viewport which you must be missing. So to add that, we're gonna change this window to the compositor here and in the compositor, I'm just using a glare node to add that glow. So press shift a and search for a glare knot and add it here as i've added now with the background and the environment setup you can increase the emission strength here a bit and it'll add a nice glow effect around our logo so with the environment done we're gonna go to the step three of adding plants and biome effect to our logo so to do that we're gonna be using the biome reader plugin from geo scatter so you can go to their website and download this and follow this step-by-step -step instruction we're also using the spring grass set here to add that cool grass look to our logo. I actually went through how to set up this plugin step by step. So if you want to check it out, you can look at my previous tutorial. Now, once you're done with the plugin setup, it'll show up in the right window here by pressing the N key. If you can select your object with the picker tool, make sure to press space and search for convert to mesh. And now if you try to select it, it'll be easily added to the plugin. Now we're gonna press the open biomes button here, which will show all the presets that we have installed previously using the install a package. Before getting started, select your logo and press Ctrl A to apply the scale to it. So all the grass object will be the correct scale. I'm gonna scroll down a little and use this grass air, which will add all of these objects automatically. Now let's enhance the look by adding two important things here. For the first one, we're gonna go to this object setting here and with the logo selector, we're gonna add a new material here. We're gonna increase the metallic and roughness to be full, 
changed the color to be dark green which looks better than the pure black which it previously had. Now for the second important thing, we're gonna get rid of some of these extra objects here. So let's delete all these flowers and also delete this leaves object here as well. We'll add our own flowers later on. So now if you made it this far, it's time to lock in and make it look even better. Starting with the first one, the grass clump. Make sure the pattern is turned off here, which is gonna act as a mask. So just keep it off for now and play around with the scale, randomness and the density of this one. Similarly for the grass mid as well, just go through all these options and you'll see the difference that it makes. Turn off the pattern for this one as well and play around with the scale till you get this nice border around your logo. Next for the grass low, this one has a different color as you can see by increasing the scale. So just increase the size a little bit to add some variety of color here. Now once you're done with all three of them, the fourth one, the weed option will add some more character to it. For this one, we'll keep the pattern on and you can change the scale and brightness here of this pattern option and see how it creates different looks. Change the scale and density also as we've done previously to create some random different looks for our weed here. And as you can see, it's adding a 3D look to our logo. So experiment with all these options. In the next step, we're gonna add some cool lighting to add to the studio look. We have our basic lighting already from the SDRI. So to add to that, let's press Shift A and add an area light. I'm gonna position and rotate it to be behind our logo and change this color to something warm, like a warm yellow. Increase its power a little bit and it'll act as a rim light, highlighting the edges of our logo. Similarly, press Shift to duplicate it and I'm gonna add another light here coming across the top and move it to be facing towards the camera a little bit. And it's already looking much better adding this edge lighting on our grass. Finally, let's add another light coming from the front to decrease the dark look and make it look much brighter. For this one, I'm gonna change it to blue to make it blend much better to our sky background. So have fun adjusting the color and the power of all these lights till you find a nice look. Now for our second last step, we're gonna add flowers to it to add some contrast to our composition. To quickly add flowers, we're gonna press plus here to add another list. Double click and rename it to be flowers. In any of the window, you can go to the top left option again and change it to the asset browser. Make sure the asset browser has the spring grass set added to it and it'll show all of these different models here already. I'm gonna click and select this flower option here which I like. So to add it to a logo, we're gonna scroll down and click add instance using the browser selection. So it's just gonna use the model that we've selected in our asset browser. Make sure to press the display as inactive and if we increase the density and scale a bit, you can see the flowers are visible. Press the normal button here so it's rotating on all sides and as you can see the flowers are added to our logo. Now just play around with all the scale and randomness setting to make it look more natural. We've added the flowers but as you can see there's no option to change the color of our flowers. As a beginner it's a bit complicated to do that to be honest so you can just follow it step by step here. So first go to the asset browser and click the flower that we were using and drag and drop it to our view here. Make sure the flower is selected and in the material view you'll see all the flower materials available. We're gonna be using just these two pink colored ones to change the flower petal colors. But the problem right now is that if we change the color it's gonna affect only the one flower that we have selected. To fix that and change the color on our logo, we're gonna click this browse material button for this pink flower material and change it to the original flower material which doesn't have any 0, .00. And now we can press shift D to duplicate this hue saturation node. And if you change the values and saturation here, it will update on our flower easily. And now for the final step, we can add some animation to our flowers. We can change this upper window to dop sheet which will help us in creating the animation. I'm gonna select the logo here and press the N key to show all those plugin options. We can start with the animation of our flower and to do that we're gonna be using the random option in the rotation here. Just see how the flowers are rocking back and forth here and we're gonna increase it just a little bit and press the I key to add a keyframe. It doesn't matter where the keyframe is added so don't worry about that. With the mouse in the dope sheet area, we're gonna press Ctrl Tab to change it to the curves editor. As you can see, it's automatically changed. 
And here with the flower rotation selected, we're gonna press the N key to open the sidebar here, go to the modifiers and add a noise modifier here. So this noise modifier will automatically add movement using the rotation of our flower. We can change the setting here, increase the scale a bit more so it looks much more smoother and decrease the strength also so the flowers are not moving too much. And as you can see, it'll just rock back and forth. The same steps can be replicated and used on our other objects as well to add some animation to it. And after doing that, this is how the final animation looks like. You can join my Patreon to grab this Blender file. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.